Hey guys, uh, sorry I'm not in class today. I'm at home not feeling very well. Um, but I haven't forgotten about you, and uh, there are some things that I was hoping to do with you today. Uh, I wanted to uh, show you guys how to use Quizlet to combine flashcard sets and use that tool to study for your quiz, which you're going to have tomorrow. This is also your homework assignment tonight, so you have to do this. Uh, enjoy the pictures of my family for now, but first thing I want to do is open up my web browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. And I want to log into Quizlet. Here's my Quizlet page already cached. Okay. Uh, when I log in, I'll be taken to my dashboard. Uh, what you guys should do is obviously use the flashcards that you have created. Uh, I'm going to click on our class, F block. Here I can see all of the students in class who have created. Uh, Quizlet sets who've done 2.1 and 2.2. Those are the two sets of flashcards that you need to combine. So I'm going to click on someone's 2.1 on Amata Poetical. Here we can see those flashcards. Hopefully you've been using them to study and you can use these tools with any set of flashcards, Speller, Learn, Test, um, Games or Scatter and Space Race. I hope you've checked those all out. But that's only going to use that one set of cards. I need to put two sets of cards together. So I'm going to scroll down. Here's my list with the definitions. I want to click Combine. When I click Combine, over here on the left-hand side, I see that set of cards that's waiting to be combined with another set. Here are some old sets that I created last year. Over on the right, you see F block. These are all of the sets of flashcards that have been made by students in our class. So I need to combine 2.1 with 2.2. I see 2.2 right here, and I'm going to click on the plus sign. I go back over to the left-hand side, and I can see that 2.1 and 2.2 are ready to be combined. Now, we're not going to quiz you on spelling, so I don't want to click go just yet. I want to hit the drop-down menu, and I want to click on test. Then I can click go. Once I click go, what I see is a practiced uh, quiz or test made up for me with fill in the blank questions, some multiple choice. Uh, at the bottom, we have true and false. Your quiz tomorrow is only matching. So what I need to do is come over to the right hand side and I see uh, the question types. I want to uncheck written, multiple choice, true, false, and I only want to click matching. Uh, I can uncheck this. I only want to be graded on the questions I get right and then I need to click reconfigure. Now reconfigure is going to create a, a whole new quiz for me. Now what you see is a matching quiz, 18 terms, definitions over here on the right, um, and this is exactly the type of quiz you're going to have tomorrow, a matching quiz. So then what I'm going to do is go over here in the boxes and type in my answers, uh, letter only. I'm just going to kind of guess, but as you can see, when I type in an answer in the box, the uh, definition disappears. That way I can chart which ones I've already used. Okay? So as I go down, I'm just going to fill in a few, few answers. Um, you can see how they all disappear as I go. Once I've finished, I will click Check Answers. And as you can see, I got none right because I wasn't really trying. The great thing is, is that I can do this quiz over and over and over again until I'm comfortable that I know the definitions of all of the terms. So all I would do is click reconfigure and a new quiz will pop back up again. Okay, again, I'm just going to kind of go down and type in some answers to show you what you need to do next. Okay, click check answers. Again, I got none right, darn. I need to keep practicing. After you've done the quiz, and you can do it as many times as you want, what we need you to do now, in order to get credit for the homework, is to submit this on Canvas. You can do one of two things. You can highlight the link here, copy it, paste it into the URL submission for assignment 2.5, uh, which Ms. McAllister, I'm sure, has already talked to you about. Um, 
But what we really want you to do is to take a screenshot of your score. If you're using a Mac, you would hold down uh, Command Shift 4 and you can drag your box and it will take a picture of your screen and save it to your desktop. So right here you can see my screenshot. When I open it, it'll save it as a file, as a picture file. There's my score. Now I can submit this into the file upload uh, tab in assignment 2.5 uh, for your homework tonight. That's what we would prefer you to do. If you're really struggling with that screen capture or that screenshot, then just uh, click the link uh, and copy that and paste it into the, the link tab in 2.5. But you do have homework tonight. Study for your quiz. Uh, it'll be a piece of cake if you practice. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good luck uh, studying tonight and good luck on the quiz tomorrow.